Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I'm so late in doing videos this week. It's been nuts. Um, trying to finish my scenery. Or not finish. I'm never finished with scenery. But working on my um, John Glenn International Airport. Trying to redo some things and uh, put out new versions of it and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm working on the hotel complex. And I just wanted to show you a few things. Um, so I just finished the Hampton Inn Hotel. And I'll explain this ugly area here in a bit. But anyway, um, I am going to be putting... Uh, these hotels that I'm finishing up. I have two hotels out of three finished. And I'm going to be putting those up on my Gumroad. Uh, so you guys can uh, download those Blender files for free. And, and uh, make modifications to them. Whatever for any of those kind of hotels that are in the areas that you're working on. That way you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, most Hampton Inns almost look, they almost look alike. You know, they might have a different little entrance area or something like that. But anyway, I thought I'd help you out by, uh, just making the Blender files available to you on my Gumroad page, myphysicalworld.gumroad.com, and I'll, and they're going to be free, so you can use them however you want. Um, but I have, um, the Hampton Inn. And let me open up another one here. I also have the Hilton Garden Inn that I finished. Okay, um, I'm I'm going to be st still doing a little bit of work on the on the Hilton, um, but it's in the sim and it'll be ready. It'll be in the next release, 3.4 of uh, KCMH. Um, but I will also make this available to you in a blender format. And, and the reason I'm doing blender formats is, you know, I can make a library for the sim and then you can just get it out of the library. But I, the, the problem with that is I don't want a lot of external dependencies on my scenery. Um, I want when I upload a scenery, I want you just to be able to upload, uh, download that scenery and not have to worry about uh, different packages that you have to have installed. Okay, so I figure if I go ahead and give this stuff to you as a Blender file, then you can create your own um, internal model for your package okay for your customers so they don't have to have like 10 different dependencies in order to have your scenery i kind of find that annoying i i did it once before with my radar you had to have one of my other airports in order to have my asr but then i just converted the asr to the uh, airport itself so you didn't have to have all of my stuff you you know what i'm saying Okay, but anyway, this is the Hilton Garden Inn in Columbus, Ohio at the airport. And I'm just finishing up on the Hampton Inn. Okay. A um, couple things I'm, I did a little different, and I'm going to explain this ugly thing over here in a second. But um, if I go into... No... That's not, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, I just need to turn off my wall. I just, if you'll notice that right here, okay, I turned off the stucco that's on the side, and you'll notice that there's some blocks here, some planes, 2D planes. Okay, got one here and then one here. This is just a mirrored version of that one, but that is a parallax window. And what I have done is that I've gotten a image of the inside of a Hampton Inn um, 
hotel room. Okay. And I have applied for that plane this view. And I have placed it behind the window, not on the same plane as the window. It's back a little bit further. So we have parallax window. Now, they're all, they all look the same. I have a couple room pictures, but, um, you know, so they didn't, wouldn't look all the same, but I, I didn't use the second one yet. And I, I'm lazy, so I probably won't. <laughs> Sorry, but anyway, I have a parallax window behind some of these rooms, okay? Now, the only thing that you have to do is, now, if in this blender, let me turn on here, is there's actually, oh, that, no wonder one doesn't click. If you notice right here, I have a layer, um, called window glass all right so where there is not a uh, parallax window with the room behind I have just placed a uh, MSFS glass object all right but where the rooms are there is no glass in the window okay because the parallax window object itself has a glass if you guys remember uh, in the tutorial a couple few videos uh, back uh, if we go over here to materials in blender and I have room one remember for a parallax it has a front glass color right and then you have a PNG that has some transparency to it at a color that you like and you use that for the glass all right, so when I made the model, the window that is in front of the room that has a parallax, this window doesn't have a single block of glass like this. Okay, so anyway, that's what I did. And I'll show you what it looks like in the sim. All right, now, that got me started thinking about this ugly thing right here. There's not much to it. I was, I'm experimenting, so it's not final yet. All right, but they have a swimming pool and they have a concrete pad around it. All right, obviously, but what I try to do, or I'm in the process of trying to see if I can get it to work better. All right, it works, but it can work better is instead of going into the sim and, uh, terraforming a, a hole in the ground and then putting a water material on top of it and uh, I do have a video of how to do that you'll have to go back to do a search on one of my videos but I did a I did one on water features and terraforming now I can easily go into the sim and create a polygon uh, and terraform that polygon so it and then give it a water texture on top now you can do that pretty easily but I don't like the way that terraform uh, the minimum uh, setback for the terraforming is one meter okay so the ground is going to be gradual like this while well, swimming pools are pretty much straight up and down that's probably the one pet peeve that I have about the SDK. It, it, terraforming is just a pain in the butt. I just don't like, I'm a cartographer, so I pretty much terraform in real life in terms of uh, digital elevation models. I, I don't like not having that control to say, no, the ground looks like this. Not And with the simulator, we have to kind of, you know, guess I like a little bit more precision so what that made me think I'm sorry I'm rambling um, but what that made me think was why not make a pool using a parallax window uh, it's the same process so here I have an image of a pool let me see if I can find that real quick 
this image of the pool, I brought it up in GIMP because it's uh, the raw file was uh, a WebP file and not a JPEG or a PIT ping, but I have already converted it. But anyway, it's a, it's a top down of a pool. Um, the only problem is I'm, it, I'm still having some issues trying to get it to scale correctly. Uh, plus there's a watermark in it. Um, but anyway, I digress. But I'm going to be working on an image of a pool that looks like this. It kind of looks like a, a, a parallax window in a sense because there's some depth to it. So I clipped out the actual water part and created a PNG. All right. And placed that in here with just a simple... Uh, 30% transparency blue on top of it. No different than doing a parallax window for a, a room, right? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the sim next and show you the effects. Okay, here we are in the sim. Sorry it took so long. I didn't know there was an update today. Actually, it was just a small update. 300 megabytes. Bug fixes, which is fine. Uh, anyway, you didn't know it took so long because I paused. All right, so let's insert to drone mode. And here's Cl uh, John Glenn International. And in the DC-3, I'm flying around the world in the DC-3. And so anyway, that was the last aircraft that I used. All right, so let me go to camera and increase the drone speed. All right, let's get over there. All right, so here are the two hotels. Still have groundwork and things like that. But anyway, got the garden in sitting over here and got the... Um, Hampton over here. Yeah, I have my picture taken off because different frame rate recording. All right, so if I drop over here, now I'll probably have to slow my drone down. No, I won't. So there's the parallax windows. These two rooms right here. So if I... Whoops. Yeah, I got to I got to slow my drone down real quick. Get it down to the slowest speed possible. There, let's do that. That should be able to help, I hope. Yeah, there we go. You can see the rooms pan. See how that luggage, that luggage cart, that right there, kind of gives you the three-dimensional aspect of the room. You guys pretty much know this stuff by now. And then I found a picture from the window to the door, so it looked correctly. Look correctly? Look correct. But as we pan, and there should be a light on the table over here so they show up. All right, but the rooms that I don't have a parallax, I just have the regular glass. All right? We talked about that. Now, we're going to, I'm going to fly on through this building. I should speed up my drone now. There we go. That's the other side. We're <laughs> don't, don't worry about this. Okay, it's goofy. All right, now we're on pool side. And if, if I move, you notice we're getting, we're getting some parallax with this pool. Okay? We're getting some. The, the image itself isn't that great. That's why it's having a hard time determining what is being used for the depth of the pool. Now, I did get the outer edge of the pool, the concrete around the edge, and I think that's what's thrown it off. So what I think I'm going to do is redo that image and only get the water and the stairs that are coming down. There's also a ladder over here. But anyway, I am experimenting using parallax windows for doing these doing these pools. 
for for all intents and purposes, it's okay. Actually, the ladder's on this side, but um, but I'm using parallax windows to do the pool. All right. Now I still have some more work to do and things like that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, what what project that I'm working on. I mean, what little things that I'm working on. And as I get further along on the experiment of doing this parallax window pool, then I'll bring you up to date on that. Okay. So we can zoom out here. So I'm working on continuing my work on my John Glenn International Airport. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. I really would like your subs because, uh, like I said, I'm a niche channel. Um, you subscribers, you almost 1,500 subscribers. That's awesome. I never would have thought I'd ha even have a hundred <laughs> but the algorithm is a pain and i'm not here to make money off of youtube at all i'm not here to make money at all um i'm doing this for you guys and as a hobby of myself um but if you'd like to support me you can buy me a coffee.com slash my physical world and remember these hotels that I'm working on will be up on my Gumroad page, myphysicalworld.gumroad.com, and they're there for a free download in a blender format. And I hope that you guys enjoy. Hey, and remember, remember, I am doing a. Um, you guys on the YouTube channel, I haven't announced it, but I am making a around the world trip in a in the DC three. I'm learning how to fly it. I'm not a great pilot. Um, just a couple nights a week, I have my flight night. And if you guys would like me to video some of that, let me know. Uh, the DC-3 for me is challenging. I'm used to airliners and the Cessna 172, which is pretty darn easy to fly. But the DC-3 is challenging for me, and I need that challenge every once in a while. But if you guys like me to videotape some of that, you know, video that, let me know. Um, also, in the comments, give me topics that you want me to make videos on. But I hope that your scenery design is going great. Um, my next, today I start this hotel that sits here. I can't even remember what it is. And then across the street from the Garden Inn is a McDonald's uh, fast food restaurant. So, anyway, that's my plan for today is to work on this third hotel. Anyway, it's there for free up on my gum road sometime in the next day or so. Uh, thanks for watching, and sorry this wasn't a great tutorial video. Um, like I kind of have a video block right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. But, hey, um, as I'm making my trip around the world in this dc3 i'm downloading people's sceneries to use uh, i'm not critiquing them because i don't think it would be fair for me to critique somebody else's scenery when my scenery isn't the best <laughs> okay um uh but i'm downloading whoever your scenery as uh if my if they're part of my destinations i don't know what my destinations are i figure it out as i'm going but anyway uh let me know if you want me to do some video on 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 that trip if not i'll just continue on my own hey you guys have a great rest of the week and i will see you guys on the next video see you guys later